In this video, we're going to find out which items are the top 80% of all of my items. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So here we've got a list of 26 different foods, starting from apples and going all the way to zucchini. And the quantities are quite different. And this is often the case in real life data. If I was trying to concentrate all of my efforts on these 26 different foods, then I might be having a lot of efforts for just yam and the same amount of efforts for bananas, but the quantities are around 70 or 80 times. What I want to do is order this so that it goes in quantity descending. Well, that's quite easy. So I'll just say order by and quantity descending. So you can see bananas at the top, kiwis next, then mangoes, and it goes down all the way to yams. But I don't necessarily want to see all of this list. I want to see just those items which occupy the top 80% of all of these items. So let's just have a look and see what that would be. So select sum of quantity from inventory. So that's 13,328 items. So if I get my calculator out and say 13,328 times 80% or 0.8, so 10,662. So what I want to do is create a running total so that we have all of the numbers from 2000 to 13,382, but then stop the list when we get to the 80% cutoff point. This is also known as the Pareto principle, where 20%, for example, of all of your foods in quantity are 80% of the total. So instead of concentrating on all 26, I might concentrate on the top 14, top 9, top 7. But what is that percentage? So if you want to do this as an exercise, then this code is available in the description to this video. Good luck. So the first thing we need is a running total. So if I have this select star for inventory, I need a running total afterwards. So let's say the sum of the quantity over a particular period. Well, first of all, do we want to partition? Do we want to divide this list into smaller lists? No, we don't. Do we then want to order it? Yes, we want to read order by the quantity descending. And what rows are we going to use when looking at the total, the sum? Well, in the first row, I want 2,000. Next row, 3,800. Next row, 5,240 and so on. So I want from the beginning of the list to the current row. So that would be rows between unbounded preceding, so from the very beginning, and current row. So that now gives an answer 2,000, 3,800 and so forth. So that is my running total quantity. Now, what percentage is 2,000 of 13,328? Well, we can work that out very easily by saying divide by 13328.0. Dot zero is necessary because we are dividing a integer by another integer and that would use integer division. So three divided by two is not 1.5 when using integer division, it's one. Similarly here, if I was just to say 13,328, because that number is less than one, it comes out as zero. Whereas if I say, 13,328.0, that's no longer integer division, and so we get the fractional numbers as well. And then we can multiply it by 100 to get a percentage. But I don't want to divide by 13328 because that is just an arbitrary number. How did we calculate that number? We said select sum of the quantity from inventory. So what I need to do is substitute 13328 by that which is in line 31. 
but I can't just say that. That doesn't work. It will give me an error. Instead, because this is its own calculation with a select clause at the beginning, I'm going to put that in brackets. So now we have the entirety of that in parentheses. I can run this and you'll notice we're back to integer logic. So I'm going to multiply it by 100.0. You notice we're back to integer logic. So I'm going to multiply this by 1.0. And now we are back to having the full answer. So what I want to do is draw a line after row 9 because that's where the 80% lies. So what I'm going to do is put this in a CTE, a common table expression. Basically it's its own subquery. And I do that by saying with and then a name, the word as, and then brackets or parentheses. And then immediately afterwards I can say select star from the name of the table or query that I've just had. Now, if you're using a with, the previous statement needs to be terminated by a semicolon. That's why we've got this squiggly underlined. So now if I run this, you can see we still have a problem. We have an order by. Order bys are not allowed in CTEs. So I'll comment that out. And here you can see the next problem. I haven't put a column name and alias for all of the columns. So I'll say that is as running percentage. So now if I run this, here we have our CTE, our select statement without the order by, but we do have an order by within the over so that it knows which direction to calculate the running total quantities. And we can now manipulate running total quantity and running percentage just like any other field. So I can say where the running percentage is less than 80 or could say less than or equal to 80. It won't make a difference in this particular occasion. So here we can see the top 80%. Now you might be saying, okay, that's well and good, but what if I wanted to include the next line, ugly fruit? So what if I wanted it to be 80% but this ugly foot is below the 80% and above the 80% I want it to be included as well. Well we have to calculate this 80 figure then. So I need to recalculate this 80% figure make it 82.06. So how can I do this? Well we'll go back to select star from my table. So that gives me everything and what I want is the lowest running percentage that is above 80. So how do you calculate that? What's lowest? It's min of running percentage. So that will give me the very lowest. But where the running percentage is greater than 80 or greater than equal to 80 either way. So if I run this, we can see we've got the figure 82.06. So what I need to do now is substitute instead of this 80, this select statement. So I can just paste it in. And what do I need as well? I need to surround it with brackets or parentheses. So we now have that as my 80 figure. So let's run this. And now you can see we have got the top 80% of all of the fruits, including that which just goes over 80%. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a few things about it. Now, why not like this video if you enjoyed it and give me any comments? Maybe you've got another way of doing this or maybe you've got some alternate suggestions for videos I can make. Now, if the idea of CTEs and these overs are new to you, then I hope you'll join us in our course. Please go to our website www.idodata.com and in our querying Microsoft SQL Server with TSQL course, we go through from the very beginning, including common table expressions using the with statement and aggregate queries. So these aggregations are things like the sum that we've seen here. So the sum of the quantity over a certain number of rows. So if this is of interest to you, I hope to see you in our course. 
Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.